everybody welcome back to my channel my name is tiara for those that are new and if you're not then welcome back i have made a decision i always say this like before my videos but they just be coming up but i decided that i'm going to do like a little chat with me like talk with me type thing to really just lay it out on the table like from what's been going on for i don't know how long but i feel like it's necessary and it involves my mental and my mental health and it involves my emotional health too so this is going to be a really 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 big personal video that i will be putting on my channel um but i feel like it's necessary because as a collegiate student athlete who's about to graduate and still run like it's this is just not a day in the life that people go through like yes people go through things and people do go through what i'm about to talk about too but um it's i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but it definitely did impact me while i was in season it impacted me like during the summer of course and like the like my place that i live in now like it's a lot but i'm going to give all detail i may leave some parts out because like i'm gonna just give as much detail as i can and i really hope that you guys enjoy this video because this is different but if i'm gonna be doing this channel then this are, these are the things that i'm gonna have to do and i'm really just gonna have to be completely honest with you guys about what's been going on in my life because honestly it's it's been tough i'm not even gonna lie but you guys gotta stay tuned for that because yeah you just gotta stay tuned and just tune in because it's about to get real personal but right now i have an hour to get to work and because nine o'clock so i will continue this video later on but this is going to be like kind of a multiple video. So this one's going to be like last video in this house because I'm leaving all toxic, all negative energy, all bad vibes in this house. And when I move into my new house, it's going to be positive everything. And if you're not positive, then you cannot come through because I have suffered way too much for these last couple of months since I've been here. And I'll be damned if I bring that negative into my new house. But I will catch y'all on the other side of this video once I'm done with working, once I'm off. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. So I'm going to continue this video from the place of my bed because my house looks a mess right now. Um, but I'm going to keep it very short because i honestly am in a better mind i'm in a better state uh of mind than i was before and i don't like to cry in front of people so i'm going to kind of like long story short it um but i was in a two-year relationship and i ignored red flags because i was in love and i made a joke about moving in with me and it ended up becoming serious and so ended up living together um and i had we there was an agreement made but in the end the agreement was not followed through and now i am stuck with having to pay all of the extra fees that they're going to charge us um and during the time where we ended up breaking up, I would say that um, he left. But during the time that that happened was back in April, and I remember the exact day. It was April 16th when we were in Florida for a track meet, and I had just PR'd, and that's something really personal because nobody knows this except like a couple of my teammates, of course. Um, but it was on the day that I PR when I ran 50.89. I'll probably like insert that me so you guys can see it.
but uh, yeah, it was basically that night where I knew that my relationship was over and I was like, wow. Like I call you and I tell you that I PR and then I like plan something for us when you come back from your job. And right after that, you're like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And like, I'm not really in the relationship anymore. I, I was just like, huh? I was, that's the whole thing. I cried, of course. And then we ended up having, like, be getting stuck in Florida in the delay. And it was just a bad trip home because I was really tired. And I had been crying all night and stuff. And I was just like, wow. You really did this? on the day that was supposed to, you know, like, be celebratory and, like, be happy about. But moving forward, like, he ended up moving out. Like, he got our stuff and moved out around SC season and everything. Um, luckily, I luckily it was during track season because it was able to distract me from what was really going on. But the times where we weren't traveling or we weren't practicing, um, and I was just here at home. It definitely like started taking a toll on my body and affected the way that I went about like my everyday living because I didn't want to be around anybody. I didn't like want to talk. Like all I wanted to do was just cry and everything. And uh, it was my first like serious relationship, so I was like really just taken aback. Like whoa okay um and so just it really started i didn't realize how bad it got until i wouldn't say like after nationals and i was really just coming here well it got it did i'll say yeah i'll say nationals because after that i was home and like yeah i was working but i still had to come home and like the memories it was really like memories, like being here every day, like with that person. Like, I'll call him. Oh, frick, I don't know. Like, no. Because I have friends with those names. <laughs> Dang, I have, have friends with that name too, and that name. I have a friend that name too. You know what? He's just going to be a letter. Z. I'll just. No, I'm not going to do that now. I'll do, I'll just do question mark, because it's too complicated right now, but me and question mark, like, we were, it, everything was good, like, but it got worse as time passed, and even though it looked like things were going well, I could tell, like, I couldn't really tell, but there was a feeling that I knew something was going to happen, but at the same time, I didn't. Like, I didn't really focus on it. And so I ignored red flags. And, like, I was happy and stuff, of course. But uh, going back to nationals and everything, and me working and stuff, I thought it was getting better. But as days went on, like, I really started to lose myself. And I got scared because I've never been so, like, so out of it and like so bad like there were times where i would just lay in bed and i would just stare and like be zoning out like my phone be ringing like i didn't want to talk to anybody like i really almost turned my phone on airplane mode and was just like i'm still here but i'm unavailable um and so i like to fast forward to now because True colors, true, I will say that true colors were shown um, between question mark and question mark's family. Um, and it really, like, it's like, wow, did you really love me the way that you said that you love me? Did you really care for me or really want to be with me the way that you said that you wanted to, you know? Like, after the last conversation, it really was just like, how did I turn into the enemy when you was the one that broke with me? Like, it was very confusing. And I was really just like, wow, that's crazy. But hey, so be it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And it was all because 
I blocked him on everything. Block question mark on everything. But I mean, the access that you once had, you don't have anymore. And all my stuff is public now because I am a student athlete in the NCAA. Like, I took my stuff off of private a long time ago. So really, anybody can see my stuff now. But not you, because you walked out. And that's me, like, once I get out of a relationship, the access that you once had is not the same anymore. It's actually not, not available. So, maturity was very, was very much not there in terms of going about the situation. And I was just like, wow. So now the truth comes out, okay. So, I, that really did play a toll too, like of how I was going about everything. And it got to a point where it's like, if I don't get help, then I will not, like I won't be able to move past this part of my chapter. I mean, this part of my life, not chapter. Because I have been wanting to close out this chapter for the longest and like now that I finally can and move on and pr and start my healing process properly it makes me very excited with my new place the my furnishing place graduation like and I even took my graduation pictures and of course they were nice and everything and it made me excited but it's like I can't even like fully be happy about something that I accomplished because I was, my mental was just not okay. And so we have um, sports therapy, we have therapists on campus. And so I contacted mine and I was like, I really need to come see you because if I don't, like, I don't think I'll be okay. And so I went to go see her yesterday. Um, what? Uh, uh, July 28th, I forgot. I went to go see her yesterday and it worked very much because i like everything is confidential and everything but it's funny because i had told her about question mark back in 2020 before covid and then two years later i'm telling her oh yeah me and question mark are over by the way it's so <laughs> that was actually like really funny but i'm glad that i was able to um to tell her everything that was going on because I like I've never been so like at a point in my life where I didn't know what to do and I was just stuck and didn't care about anything anymore but I will say that you are not alone yes you are not alone people love and care for you and there's always someone that you can talk to no matter what, whether you feel like there isn't anybody, there's always somebody that will sit and listen. And oh, I really just thank God because he knew, he saw my problems. He knew I was struggling and I always follow his path. Even when I know it's questionable sometimes and I'm like, it's in like, I said, God, it's in your hands right now. You know the type of person I am. I, I, I am a fighter. But in terms of this situation, with question mark, I just can't fight it anymore. Like, I need you to handle this for me because there, I, I, I cannot, I can't do it anymore. Like, I've done, I don't know what to do. I've literally done nothing wrong. Like, and, and it, like, everybody could vouch for me that I didn't do anything wrong. Like, if anything, I went overboard in, tor in terms of, like, being in a relationship and, in a good loving way so i have never prayed so hard for healing to just come take over like i've literally done everything i could but yesterday definitely gave me that like you're not alone type feeling and now i will be seeing my uh my sports therapist once a week to make sure like everything is back on track and my mental state is intact because not only am I closing this chapter I'm opening up a new one in terms of this being my last track season um, as a collegiate athlete too so 
yeah, it's definitely going to be another mental battle for sure. But I'm really hoping and praying that it's not going to be as serious as this one was because it's track and field and like it's my sport. It's something that I use like as a like my runaway space. <laughs> that's funny because we gotta practice and run, but um, that's definitely going to be like my private runaway space to like to where I can. It's like a stress reliever, so I don't know, but this was it wasn't hard for me to talk about this because i literally just wiped over the entire thing like as vague as i could because i didn't want to get into super deep detail and it's friday morning and i'm not trying to go back into being sad and like just my mind being stuck in that one space and like just going through the motions and everything because I honestly feel like that now that I've had the meeting, uh, I've, I've moved on from that and I can actually start enjoying the things that I used to enjoy and um, uh, like go on about my life. Like I really, I'm ready to make this next step forward in the right direction. But I will say when it comes to relationships and if you think you're ready, like actually sit time and think on if you are really ready to be committed to someone. And I will say not to ignore red flags because sooner or later, like they will come up and you, you're gonna wish that you thought that you have listened. And I really feel like that I should have listened because if I did, then I wouldn't be feeling the way that I'm feeling right now. I wouldn't be in the situation that I'm in right now. I still would be living by myself, yes. Um, but I would have saved so much more money um, to where I wouldn't have to furnish my apartment piece by piece. I could just do it all together. Um, and I would be in a very much, I would be in a better mental state than I am right now. Like, I'm slowly getting there, of course, but this is definitely going to be a process that cannot be rushed because the more you rush it, the more that it's likely probably to come back. And I really don't want, they say it's relapse, but that's a really strong word. I don't want to use relapse, but I don't want to have to have flashbacks. I don't want to have to think of this place. I don't want to have to do anything with this place when I move out and so just, I'll say, make sure you're ready for it. Make sure you are really ready to be in a relationship and don't just jump into one because you want one. Like, actually really sit and think, is this what I want to do right now? And ask yourself if you're ready to make that next jump with being someone. And make sure, are there intentions like, what are their intentions? Like, ask questions. And really, ask questions, pray on it, and start slow. Because now, like, when it comes to relationships for me, let me see that resume. And not your social resume. I'm talking about your job resume. Like, what experience do you have? Where's your Indeed? Where's your LinkedIn? What are your goals? Like, I need you to tell me what you're doing. Because I know who I am and I know what's on my agenda and what my plan is for the future. What are yours? I need to see if they align with what I have planned. Call me stingy. Call me selfish. I really don't care. I know the type of young lady that I am. And my tolerance now now like my tolerance before was at ground zero my tolerance for stuff now is at a negative six so i don't even make any sense i don't care but that's where i am right now because now my heart is too fragile now and i i my my, my heart is too fragile my trust levels are not there anymore like I am really repairing and I'm not saying that I'm going to get into a relationship like within like a year or so like I probably don't see myself getting into a relationship until like 
maybe three years from now, honestly. By that time, I'll be 25. So, I don't know, but I just know that it's just going to be me, myself, and I. That's all I got. I did in the end. Shout out to Beyonce. <laughs> But yes, this was this wasn't really hard for me to talk about. Like it was, but it wasn't. But I said, it's time. And if I'm going to be taking YouTube very serious as I know that I should be, and like I want to, then I have to make these type of videos. I have to give you guys updates. I need to tell you guys what's been going on and why I haven't been posting. Which I know I am behind, so I'm probably going to drop maybe like three videos in one week to catch everybody up. But I do apologize. I am moving, as you, as you guys know. And so I've been packing, cleaning. I've been doing a lot. Like, I got in contact with my place yesterday. Like, it was a lot. I have a lot that I was doing. So, um, yeah, that's really it. Just, at the end of the day, take care of yourself. And always make sure, like, nobody's going to have your back harder than you have your own back. And sometimes if you have to make decisions that you that are that you think that are the best for you, then definitely go on and do it. That's something that he said that question mark said that he did. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. I guess. <laughs> no, I guess. But you did what's best for you. Therefore, I'm gonna do what's best for me. And that means that you're not gonna have any access to me. Because all you're going to be wanting to do is view my stuff, see what I'm doing, still try to be part of my life. Like, no, no friendships, no, no nothing. That's all gone. I'm not sorry. But you made that decision. So, I need to wrap this up because I need to start moving around. But take care of yourself. That's it. That's all. Take care of yourself. You're not alone. People are here for you. Like, yes, I'm reiterating this again because it's serious like don't don't take it as a joke if you're not okay reach out you're not alone like you you're not alone what michael jackson saying you are not alone yeah he meant that shout out to my to mj but if you guys sat and really watched this video i greatly appreciate it because this was very this was a different type of video that i made but I'm going to need you guys to hit that bell and subscribe for me, please, so that you can stay on top of my videos and what I have coming up. And don't forget to like and comment and follow me on Instagram. I'm at tbaby142 with two eyes, I think. I can't remember my Instagram name. Uh, follow me on TikTok, too. And other than that... Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Oops.